Today, wildlife advocates launched a major effort to save California salmon. Don Ford shows us it's a joint project between private landowners and government agencies. Deep in the coastal mountains east of Hillsburg, a collection of government agencies and one private landowner are struggling to save the most endangered salmon on the California coast, the coho salmon. Nancy Summers owns and loves this land. She says half a century ago, coho thrived here. It started with me talking to a fish and game officer who said that there is a real need for a riparian conservation bank. And riparian means stream habitat. Using baby salmon bred in captivity, biologists used five-gallon jug backpacks and hauled them upstream on summer's property. The salmon are released in spots that were specially prepared ahead of time. It is sweaty, hard work. The two pink ribbons are the uppermost stocking pool. State biologist Ben White is leading the group. His team will release over 5,000 baby fish. It's been a long road to get them from, from the hatchery to these creeks. So I, I really you know, hope for the best, and uh, I hope I see them again one day as adults. The coho salmon is nearly extinct south of the Golden Gate Bridge. Mara Egan works for the National Marine Fisheries Service. About 80 plus percent of our coho populations are in watersheds where they're privately held lands. The biologists are planting the salmon now before the weather turns too bad for the winter. <laughs> the, after the rain, there are eight stream crossings getting here. No one will come back in and the, and the fish and the wildlife will have it to themselves. The coho salmon didn't get into such dire straits overnight, and it's not getting out of them anytime soon either. But this public-private partnership is an important part in the restoration of the species. In Sonoma County, Don Ford, CBS 5.